Hello YouTube, this is the accelerometer mouse I built. Unlike ordinary mice, this mouse uses an accelerometer to move the cursor across the screen, and it is controlled by a 5 volt Trinket Pro. Here's a quick 360 of the mouse. It has the left, right, and middle mouse button, that's how you hold it, and it has a rounded bottom so that you can tilt it to move the cursor. Tilting forward moves the cursor up, downward moves it backward, and left and right move it from side to side. Here we are, we're just going to pop right into this. We're going to use this with Minecraft so we can get a general feel of how this would work in a first person game and how that would work clicking buttons. So here we're just going to build a simple crafting table, drag that over. It's actually pretty difficult because this mouse actually requires quite a bit of precision because it is used in accelerometer. If you really wanted to, you could swipe your hand across the table and that would also move the mouse. However, I much prefer to tilt the mouse because gravity provides a constant source of acceleration, which the accelerometer will read. And so that is why I have the rounded bottom. Now you might be thinking, how do you scroll up and down without a mouse wheel? Well, because I have a third mouse button in there, if I press the two leftmost mouse buttons, it will actually scroll the page up. And if I press the rightmost mouse buttons, it will scroll the page down. We're just going to build some basic tools here, like a sword and a pickaxe, so I can show the functionality of how using a tool would work in any first person setting. We're going to skip ahead now, I just want to test out what it would be like using a tool. We're just gonna kill off some of the cows in this area. This is a really fun project to do. I would highly recommend it. It's pretty basic. I think a beginner could easily get the hang of how to program using the Arduino IDE. I will leave all the parts and the tools that I used for this project in the description below. So do check that out if you want to build something like this. This project costs about $40. And it does require you to do some soldering. The Trinket Pro does need to be soldered to a breadboard. The outer shell I used for this was polymorph. It's just basically a low melting point plastic that you could 3D print something or use any other material if you really wanted to. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this, how I could improve it maybe. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Till next time.